Hello and welcome to the final day of the Mi Bar 22 show. I'm Alan Peaford. Now you know what they say about coming to Dubai, you can see the biggest of everything. Well, how about this one? It's the biggest flying bed in the world. Rightly enough, it's a focal point in what is the biggest aircraft at the show. The Boeing 767-200ER is the flagship of the Comlux fleet. Dubbed the Sky Lady, it features almost 2,000 square feet of cabin space and had a full cabin upgrade during the pandemic. It can carry a principal guest with an entourage of 50 in its six separate cabin areas. With its KU band Wi-Fi connectivity, as well as a new ionization purification system, it's available on charter and in demand for head of state or corporations. It can fly from Dubai to New York non-stop, so the onboard beds are essential. We'll look at more of the metal at the show in a bit, but this year's Miba has been about so much more. The mood has been upbeat and the industry has bared its soul on the environment, infrastructure and the latest technologies. This sector is about easing the way around the world to drive economic growth and reaching parts of the globe the commercial air transport cannot reach. Speeding up arrivals and departures is a key element and as Chloe Greenbank discovered, one exhibitor wants technology to make entry easier. With the world more connected than ever, the security of customers and the countries they're visiting remain a top priority across the aerospace industry, and business aviation is no exception. Here on the show floor at Miba, Tahaluf is showcasing its border crossing suite, which uses biometrics to identify and verify passenger details. For a sector that prides itself on discretion, efficiency and speed, this is an exciting solution for private aviation terminals, business airports and FBOs. On that note, it's time for me to fly. The Middle East leads the world with a heavy end of the business jet market with two thirds of its entire fleet. No wonder that manufacturers like Boeing, Airbus, Bombardier, Gulfstream, Embraer and Dassault were all touting their wares in the UAE, which is of course now the biggest single market in the region having overtaken Saudi Arabia. Dassault is showing its flagship 8X here, but its international sales director, Renault Cloatre, has one eye focused on the progress of a new top-of-the-range model. The 10X, you'll see it for this first uh, entry into service in 25, and uh, it's gonna be, um, well, simply the greatest. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an aircraft of its own class because it's its biggest, uh, the largest, highest, widest cabin that exists on the dedicated business jet. It's going to be 7,500 nautical miles. So, you know, from uh, the Middle East, you'll reach, you know, any region. Now, that's a, a, an incredibly tight market now, isn't it? Because we've seen Gulfstream, we've seen Bombardier bringing those aircraft out. Is there a big enough market for three of you? Yes, absolutely. Uh, if you look at the past, it's been an evolving market, you know, from from uh, the number of aircraft and the, and the size of the aircraft uh, and the efficiency of these aircraft. So uh, gradually replacing existing aircraft plus welcoming new owners uh, makes a market that it's really, uh, really big enough for all those uh, serious players, I'd say. Ten years ago at Miba, there would have been barely a mention of helicopters, but deals were done at the show, with Abu Dhabi's Falcon Aviation ordering five H-130s from Airbus. And it really will be big business in Saudi Arabia. The helicopter company was at the show to agree a maintenance deal with Sa'i and to cooperate in growing the sector. Two years back where we started, uh, we were at two aircraft. We have 35 this year, 48 next year. 60 within the two years coming at the ratio of two aircraft per month delivery. So uh, if you want to focus on that, and we have to focus on that and keep our operation growing, we, we need the right partnership locally. And that's the, that's the, the main objective we sign. Expect to see progress in the advanced air mobility sector too. Dubai is set to become the global hub with the launch of the first AAM integrator center with the Deputy Director of the UAE's regulator, GCAA, saying it's time to take daring steps. And the future is, well, wet. Dornier Sea Wings declared the flying boat is back, having signed an agreement with Gulf Enterprises to provide sales, marketing, operational and MRO setup and support for its Sea Star Amphibian. With its business configuration, it's a great way to flit across and around the Gulf. 
So that's it from us, from Me Bar 22 in Dubai. It's been a phenomenal show. We've seen everything from expensive watches to expensive jet planes. And now we're gonna do the last mile. How better than a Ferrari SB2? Goodbye.